Well, obviously, I adore TV, and by TV, I think everybody means the content. You know, it doesn't mean a particular screen anymore. TV is what you watch. Most of the changes are really being driven by the consumer. I mean, I think in, some, in, in many cases, the consumer is actually driving change faster than actually our own industry. We've got major digital media companies and platforms that are investing heavily in content to be audiovisual content to be delivered across digital devices. So that's already reinventing the concept of what is TV. Convergence is definitely happening in the eyes of a consumer. I guess we're reacting to it because uh, part of our challenge uh, is, has always been to operate at the pace of people. That's really, really difficult because they're always ahead. Obviously, we're seeing in agencies uh, moves towards having um, a video-centric planning and buying function, partly driven by advertisers who think this creative asset they've got, this piece of film that they've created that's a TV ad, they, they'd like to see that placed in different, different screens, in different environments. Um, obviously, that's sometimes perfectly appropriate, but sometimes it really isn't. Are TV buyers buying digital video? Absolutely. Um, you know, a big part of our business here in the UK is, is what we would call core TV buying business. And, um, you know, that's great. And I think with these sort of merging together of these different buying groups, that's only going to continue. There is going to be a drive towards automation, but that would rely on all content and inventory um, and, and all context from a broadcast point of view being equal. Um, and of course it is not. So, you know, although you could trade TV programmatically based on rating points, um, the problem is, is that advertisers and their, their agencies acting on their behalf, they will always be looking for certain spots over and above others. There's very little programmatic selling of TV inventory, including online TV, including VOD, um, for very good reasons. One is that, that it's massively over-demanded in the UK. Uh, there isn't sort of excess inventory waiting to be filled by some automated process. Obviously, we expect lots of people to want to be in the world of TV, so TV is not going to be short of competitors uh, going forward, but that's a sign of its health. It's a highly desirable, highly effective um, and still an incredibly relevant medium.